Good evening, everyone. I have a word for you for Thanksgiving. This is your Thanksgiving present today. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 28. Jesus says, But I say unto you, that whosoever look at a, on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Very important topic. Now, there's a reason why we have so much hard drum going on in our country, in our cities, in our highways and byways. There's a reason why, because Satan is up to something. Amen. Since from the beginning until now, nothing is new under the sun. So Satan has a plan for humanity. He wants everyone to rebel against the word of God. To live a rebellious life. Now, does your nakedness in the eyes of God look good? How does God see your nakedness? How does God see your nakedness? Very important topic because there's one key word here Jesus mentioned. He said, Whosoever look. Now, you know men love to look. The eyes are never satisfied from looking. So why do these women dress with so many tight, skinny jeans, leggings, short shorts with holes in them. There is an agenda, there is a plan that the devil wants to destroy men. He wants to destroy the world. Do you understand what's going on? This is a spiritual warfare that people cannot see with their own eyes. Now, if Jesus say, whosoever look, why would somebody be looking if there's no attraction, it's because whatever they are looking at, that person is showing too much. It's communicating with their body, with the stuff that they wear. Now, when a prostitute wants to impress the customer, what do they do? They wear short skirts, short shorts, and then sometimes even half naked. They dress in a way to seduce the customer, to lure them into, into sin, to come and sleep with them. They wear makeups, they wear eyelashes, fake hair, fake boobs, and they wear skirts so tight that they show all their curves and cleavages just to excite the customer to sleep with them. Now, we're living in a days where everybody just where anything, like they go into the beach. I mean, whore drum is filled in America right now. Where are the mothers? Where are the fathers? Where are the parents that are supposed to be responsible to teach the kids how to dress? But you find a lot of mamas twerking with their daughters. You find a lot of fathers who's not even, they don't have backbones anymore. They have jelly backbones. They can't stand up anymore to fight to tell the daughters, no, they can't wear this stuff in the streets. Men have become effeminate. The devil has a plan. He's trying to feminize the men's so that women can take over. Once a woman take over, the house is upside down. Then the curses will enter this world. The curses enter this country and the country will be upside down. That's why Jesus said, whosoever look. So in other words, men are always looking. People are always looking. That's why these people are dressed the way they dress. So they can bring hard drum and prostitution, prostitution and um, promiscuity and sexual act in the land. And that will destroy the land. So the devil has a plan because he wants to bring a lot of people to hell with him. It is important before you get out the house to watch what you wear. If you call yourself a woman of God, you shouldn't be showing your hips, your thighs, your breasts to no one. You shouldn't be showing them. That stuff is valuable only to your husband, not to the world. In fact, if you call yourself a man or woman of God, 
your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. You should be covering everything up. Nobody wants to see your nakedness. Do you understand what's going on? The devil has a plan to destroy the world. In the book of Leviticus 19.29, what does the Bible says? He says, do not prostitute thy daughter. How do you prostitute your daughter? You make her dress like a, like a whore. You make her dress like a prostitute. What are the prostitute attire? Leggings, skinny jeans, skin tight jeans. I call them skin choke jeans because it chokes the person's buttocks to show everything. Short shorts, ripped pants that show all their legs. When you wear dresses that shows all your breasts, those are prostitute dresses. So what does the Bible say? Do not prostitute thy daughter. So there's a lot of parents that are prostituting their daughter. Don't tell me she's too young. You have to train her up the way that she should go that when she grows up, she won't wear those kind of attire clothing. So what it says, to cause her to be a whore. So when you make her dress like a prostitute, you're going to cause her to be a whore because she's going to get attention from other men and they're going to come after her. That's why we have so much raping in the land. And it says, lest the land fall to whoredom because you are enticing men. You bring in lasciviousness, which is extreme sexual desire to the, to the, to the land. And the land become full of wickedness. That's when you have rape and all this other stuff that's happening. Drugs and, and, and cocaine and smoking pot and all this stuff. Drunkenness, party and pothead. And people just want to get laid. They just want to get drunk. They just want to get high. And they have, they, they, they have no more fear of God. So when you dress your daughter like a prostitute, you bring hardrum to the land. That's why all these people who call themselves themselves uh, 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 Christians and they're wearing leggings in the street and showing all their cleavage, all their birth canal to the streets, to the world. What happened? They're enticing men. They're provoking men to fall into sin. That's why there's so much masturbation, so much pornography. See, that's how the devil destroy a land by hardrum. That's why, ladies, you have to watch how you dress. Not just because you have the body doesn't mean that you have to show it to the whole world. You have to keep it for your husband, keep it in your family, keep it in your home. You don't go out there and spread and, 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 and showcase what you have. You are not for sale. What does the Bible say? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. To be a whore is to dress like a whore. What are you selling? Do you have anything for sale? You're not a prostitute. So therefore you should dress modestly. Are you serving God? Or are you serving the culture of this world? This world belongs. What does the Bible say? The God of this world is who? The devil is the God of this world. So a lot of Satanists, they are designing these clothes so that you can show your cleavage to the world. Every time you get up, I want you to have this in your mind. Who are you dressing up for? Are you dressing for God or are you dressing for the world? That tells you who your God is.